for our Mastalino classroom random math problem. How many rectangles are there in the figure? Take note that a square is a rectangle. Can you solve it without counting each rectangle manually one by one? You give it a try and comment down your answer before I show a possible solution. Before I show the solution to our given problem, let's have first a simpler version of it and use the method of counting manually. In this kind of problem, we can organize the way we count all the rectangles. We may start with the smallest rectangle of the same size and see that we have 9 of them. Next, we have 12 rectangles of these sides. Six rectangles of this size. Four rectangles of this size. Also, four rectangles of this size. And lastly, one rectangle of this size. Getting the total number of rectangles, we have 36 of them. Therefore, there are 36 rectangles in this given figure. Going back with our original given problem, this time, we will use another method of solving it aside from counting manually. We will need the concepts of combination and the fundamental counting principle. Observe in the figure that we have seven horizontal lines and six vertical lines. Also, notice that we may form a rectangle by using two of these horizontal lines and also two of these vertical lines. I'll show some of them. Now, how does this idea help in solving the problem? Alright, it has something to do with the combination. As what we have seen a while ago, we can form a rectangle by using two horizontal lines out from the seven horizontal lines. Or, in symbol, we have 7C2, as well as two vertical lines out from six vertical lines or in symbol we have 6c2 next thing we do is use the fundamental counting principle or fcp according to this principle in order to count the total number of possible ways we can complete a task in our problem our task is to form rectangles we just simply multiply the number of ways we can do each step in completing the task. And in our problem, we have two steps, such as choosing two horizontal lines and choosing two vertical lines. Hence, we just multiply 7C2 and 6C2. Recall that the formula for the combination is this one. Using the formula, we have this. Simplifying inside the parentheses in the denominators and expanding the factorial notation. Notice that in 7 factorial and 6 factorial, we stop expanding up to 5 factorial and 4 factorial respectively. Since we also have 5 factorial and 4 factorial in the denominators so that 
we can cancel them out. So, it will leave us with this one. Simplifying, we have 21 times 15, which is equal to 315. Therefore, there are 315 rectangles in this figure. I hope you have learned something from our episode, Math Palino Classroom, Random Math Problem. Until next time, 